Hey guys and welcome once again to TMP. So to all the go-kart khakis out there, listen up. Are you looking for a whole new challenge other than your usual rounds like Elite or Sepang? Well, if the new challenge is what you're looking for, we just might have something for you over here at the Strand. And we understand that some of you might look puzzled. What does the Strand has to do with go-karting? Well, unknown by many, there's actually a new centre that has just opened here on the fifth floor of the parking lot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Formula Karting. Okay, so at first glance, you can tell that this is not your typical go-kart grounds. Instead of being greeted by tarmac, what we have here is a typical surface you'll find on a multi-storey car park, which is concrete. So what is the idea of setting up a go-kart track on a multi-storey car park like this one? Let's have a chat with our operator to find out more details about it. Okay, the reason why we don't do a go-kart track at the mall is it's never been done. I mean, it has been done somewhere in Malaysia, in Malacca and all that. But in the Klang Valley, it has not been done before. So we want to have an all-weather cutting experience, regardless whether it's really hot in the midday or even having heavy rain outside, you can still enjoy your go-kart. Um, there's no interruption. If you decide to watch a movie or something, you can always go and watch a movie. Then after that, you play. Or while waiting for your movie to start, you can play one session or two. Um, so there's no excuses that your wife doesn't allow you to go play go-kart, you know what I mean? We are on concrete. As you know, car parks are always on con done on concrete. Concrete driving is slightly different. It, it does test your skills as far as driving is concerned because it's slightly slippery uh, compared to tarmac. Um, but of course, once your tyres warm up, you get a little bit more grip. Um, going to corners, you have to have a different set of disciplines as well. Um, Sodi RT8 is uh, from Sodi, France. Um, it, it's running on a 270cc Honda engine. Um, it has adjustable pedals, of course, seat belt for extra protection, a roll bar. This roll bar is actually for to avoid any kind of, um, let's say, for example, if you get knocked by your friends or that, to avoid the amount of whiplash you feel, experience, right? Yeah, we don't see that much. On not many, yes, not many. Um, everybody knows Sodi is one of the best if not uh, the best manufacturer as far as uh, go-kart is concerned uh, in the world for rental car and also the racing carts. As long as you're 153 centimeters tall, you can, you can drive the car. Um, so there are a lot of kids out there, 12 years old or even, even 11 years old who are tall enough to play. As long as they're mature enough to understand the rules, they should be able to, to drive. The tallest we have is actually six foot six foot six six foot six yeah and uh, they yeah they can actually fit and comfortably and drive comfortably um, even we have a if you notice on our fastest time board uh, we have a heavyweight category yeah and the biggest guy there was 140 and he's doing 41 seconds we try to get more and more ladies to participate please come <laughs> ladies and the big guys to come in because we notice that even though our boards we have top 20 ladies already on the board but we see there's a lot of ladies with huge potential and they really can drive even to challenge the boys so it's, it's really good to see these ladies come in if they can come in you just please come by and also the big boys the the big guys, just come by. So we can yeah. say that this is a family activity that's not limited Correct. to age as long as you are meeting the height requirement and you know how to operate the cars. Correct. Correct. That's nice. We encourage everyone to use full face helmet. Mm -hmm. If you don't have your own helmet, uh, we, we provide full face helmets. And it's sanitized. It's sanitized by our, our partner, Kushari. Um, sanitized as in coated and it should last about uh, three months or six months before we have to do ag do again. Uh, we have a safety briefing all the time. Um, we also have marshals on track. We have six, five of them. And of, if you obey the, the, the flags and the, the communication, it should be fine. Uh, first timers are more than welcome. We always give them advice how to drive the cart for the first two laps to experience the, the, the speed and the braking. And once they get comfortable, then we allow them to go a bit more faster. Like I said, having, having done a track in, in a car park, you are restricted as far as the space. And one of the reasons why we use these energy absorption barriers is, is to 
make sure we maximize the size of the track itself, you know. And it doesn't take up as much space as tyres, it's less maintenance, it's all interlocking. If you do knock into it, it's supposed to absorb your, your impact and you don't feel it as much as a sudden jolt, just like tyres, yeah? So that's the reason we have this. Regardless of the, the type of layout you have, when you drive, you should be always focused when you're on the, on the track. Um, this encourages you to be focused at all times. Um, this is where you get into your carts, and then after you claw, and then you have pass the start finish in your first corner, all the way to the back, and the straight. The straight is basically the only part where you can have a little bit of rest. rest. Again, everyone just floor it, full gas around here, and then heartbreak to the first corner. Um, another straight we have is here. So it's a little bit resty in there, but the rest of it is, is pretty, you need to be on the game all the time. So now you know about the track and you know about the go-kart. So now there's only one thing left to do. Let's put on a helmet and do laps around this whole new track. So overall, it was a good experience. The track, uh, since it's a new track, having about the first corner was a tricky part because going to the main straight and having to brake hard and then you wiggle your way through the crowd. Ha having a place like this, it's all, you have the wind, you have the echoes and it, it makes a good uh, visceral experience all around. Uh, the cut is uh, Tokyo. Then previous cut that we have ever played with, when you pump a little bit too hard on the, on the throttle, the tail tends to get happy. Looking forward to drop by here. Okay. You guys, and that's all we have today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We would like to extend our thanks to Formula Karting for welcoming us onto their new establishment. Thank you. Uh, well, you're most welcome anytime. I mean, I hope you guys had fun with the track, with the cart, and enjoy the, the corners, as I said oh, earlier. Yes. And um, yeah, we'd like to welcome everyone. We just opened. Help a brother out. Come on, come over. Um, men, ladies. Big boys, tall boys, anyone, everyone. anyone just Bring come by. Family. Bring your whole family to come over here. Um, we have a good, good price going on for 10 minutes. It's uh, 50 ringgit at the moment, um, but after March it's going to be 60 ringgit. And lepas tu, uh, three times 10 session is 160 ringgit. And then you can always go for our GP race uh, session, which is 180, um, where you have. 10 minutes of practice, 10 minutes of qualifying, and then 15 laps of, of, of race, yeah? So again, everyone's welcome. You guys are most welcome here again. Bring everyone, try it, challenge each other on the track, you know? <laughs> Who's the fastest in no equal or motorsport people? Um, just come by anytime, just let me know, yeah? All right, awesome, thank you very much. We enjoyed our time here, and we hope to see you next time. Cool, All right. sounds good. Say see bro. ya. Take care.